啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦啦。Hey, it's time to take out the trash. No, Nancy. Lucy is just tricking you. Oh, I heard the song and thought I had to go run after the garbage truck. My bad. You know, Nancy. In America, when we hear a truck playing songs like that, we think it's an ice cream truck, not a garbage truck. Wow, Teacher Lauren, you must have been very confused when you heard the garbage truck for the first time in Taiwan. Yes, I was. When I heard the garbage truck song, I suddenly got very hungry for ice cream. But when I looked outside, all I saw were people throwing their trash and recycling out. How do Americans know when to take out the trash, Teacher Lauren? Well, since the U.S. is very big. There are many different ways that trash is collected, but usually we bring our garbage cans to the end of our driveway, and the garbage trucks come to empty the garbage cans on certain days of the week, not at certain times. Is it free for the garbage truck to pick out the trash in America? No, it is not. If a family doesn't pay for their garbage to be collected, the garbage man won't come. Oh man, that stinks! Teacher Lauren 说，在美国不会每天固定时间收垃圾，而是一周只有某几天，而且有不同的收垃圾公司，他们每个月都要付钱给垃圾公司。Yep, it literally stinks. Speaking of waste management, I know that Japanese garbage cans and garbage collection are complicated. Do you know more about that, Lucy? Oh yes. 日本的回垃圾分类非常细微，地方政府会编写详尽的垃圾分类和垃圾回收时间手册，在可燃不可燃、资源回收垃圾的大类下，又分别细分几种类别。每种垃圾都要使用标准垃圾袋，按规定收收集时间放在指定收集处，有清洁车统一载运。资源回收分类过程要求很细，如果不严格执行分类的话，会被罚很多钱呢。Oh man, that sounds difficult. Yes, it reminds me of South Korea's waste management. 在南韩，为了减少垃圾量，实施垃圾随袋收费。另外，为了避免食物过剩，少数地区还实行实行厨余称重制。垃圾和资源回收是定时的，但只要放在固定地方，人不需要等。周末和平常白天不允许放垃圾。收垃圾时间是每周一到周五凌晨。Hey, do you know how Swedish people manage their waste? They have to sort their garbage very carefully. Yes, there are special workers who recall the weight of each family's garbage and collect a monthly garbage tax. You're right. 瑞典以称重方式收垃圾，清洁人员会记录每个家庭的垃圾重量，每个月收取垃圾税。每个社区都会设置资源回收区，区内每个垃圾桶都会清楚标示该桶回收物。在超市购买饮料需付押金，喝完后投入超市门口的专用回收机。机器会打出收条，再凭纸条去超市购物或兑换现金。这就是所谓的押金回收制度。我还知道瑞典甚至有些地方有地下垃圾道，真空收集垃圾直达处理厂呢。You know what? Sweden is so good at recycling that only four percent of garbage goes into the landfill, and they have to import other countries' garbage to make more energy. 瑞典的家用垃圾约只有四 percent 会进到掩埋场。九十 percent 的垃圾都拿去发电做肥料或燃料了，因为回收做得太彻底，以致垃圾不够焚烧产生发电，甚至要向其他国家进口垃圾。Amazing! I know that Germany is similar to Sweden too. It also has bottle recycling that the supermarkets where they got money for recycling used bottles. Oh, really? Yes. And throwing away garbage in Germany is very expensive. They have to buy expensive bags to throw away things. So most people are very careful about recycling. Cool. 德国的垃圾回收利用率非常高。
，其分类系统也非常复杂。垃圾袋以颜色区分，以方便回收分类。处理垃圾的费用十分昂贵，需要花高价购买专用垃圾袋，和瑞典一样。德国超市也有塑胶瓶回收机，换得的现金却可在同一家超市购物。I wish Taiwanese could be as good at recycling as Sweden and Germany. In Taiwan, we use landfills and incineration for most of our waste management, don't we? Yes, we do. But Taiwan is such a small country that we don't have enough space for trash. It's bad to do recycling, so we can reduce the amount of trash. I agree. 垃圾处理通常是掩埋或焚烧。台湾这么小，垃圾掩埋场很有限，所以我们应该要尽量回收可用物资，减少垃圾量。Lucy, you reminded me of something we learn about in school in the U.S. Reduce, reuse, recycle. The three R's. Oh, I remember. We learned the three R's on Global Day before. Yes, reduce, reuse, and recycle. We should always remember the three R's. Great. Well, students, it's time to go. We'll see you next time. See you, see you next, next time. time. Take out the trash. You take out the trash. You take out the trash. You take out the trash. You. Huh? Why? All right, all right. I take out the trash. Hello, everyone. I'm Lobo. 又到了说明英语每周一句的时间了。今天我们要学的是 take out the trash， 去倒垃圾。剧中的小朋友听到妈妈喊 ，Hey, time to take out the trash. 到垃圾时间到喽！小朋友一个个说 ：“You take out the trash。”你去倒垃圾。到最后一个小朋友时，找不到下一个人推脱，只好无奈地说 ：“All right, all right, I'll take out the trash。”好吧，好吧，我去倒垃圾。Take out the trash 的意思就是去倒垃圾。现在，请小朋友跟我一起练习 ：Take out the trash。Take out the trash. Take out the trash. Take out the trash. 今天的说明就到这儿结束喽。哦，对了，在这里我们要宣传一个新活动，配合五月五号的校庆运动会以及仁爱新义两栋楼即将拆除 ，Global Day 的亲子剧场将推出 Remembering the Good Old Days 缅怀校园篇专辑。邀请小朋友在校庆当天以英文向家长导览这两栋楼，聊聊自己曾经在这里度过的生活或学习的故事。Global Day 当天会进行现场拍摄，而后将影片剪辑播出。有意愿参与的小朋友，请于四月三号前至双语组办公室报名。Global Day 将集合报名者进行甄选，决定拍摄名单后给予剧本。撰写的协助，最后在五月五号校庆当天拍摄。Global Day 期待更多小朋友及爸妈的参与，等你来报名哦。I'm waiting for you. That's it. See you next time. It's a small world.